today at Man Cave Tools, we are going to do a battle of the brushless against 12 volt impact drivers. Right, so let's do the dual first. 5 amp hour battery. Battery is full. Just to make sure it is on high. Time. All right, like I said in a lot of videos that this is actually a tough piece of wood, so that's why I love having this. I'm gonna be sad once my space runs out, because as you can see, even a tool like this had a tough time doing that, so. I'm gonna keep track of score so you guys don't have to. Battery is full, battery indicators on the body and not the, the battery itself. It is on speed three. Time. Let's do skill next. It is on high. Battery is full. Time. Well, next, let's do the Hilti. Battery is full, four amp hour battery. I'm trying to stay within the same area so they all have the same sort of dense wood. Time. All right, so next let's do the M12 Stubby with a quarter inch, quarter inch hex collet, 255P-20. We have a 6 amp hour battery on there, battery is full. I'm curious on how well this is going to go with a quarter inch hex collet. Oh, I did put a blue light on there as well. Because my uh, the vibration was so great, it actually broke the white light. So I put a blue light on there just because I can. Time. Now I'm going to say this, that sounded like it, the motor was slow, but at the same time it also worked a lot less. So that, that's, a, that's how I feel when it comes to uh, bursting this against the M12 that I, that I can see and hear. Alright, so next let's do the Makita. It is on high. Battery is full. Time. Next, let's do the M12 Surge. It's on speed three. Battery is full. Time. All right, so just to let you guys know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a shot of that without editing the sound. And I'm also going to add a shot of the M12 working, the regular M12 impact driver, with unedited sound as well. And we'll do a sound comparison right now. All right, well, let's take it out.
time. That is quiet. Oh, you can hear my voice over that. Time. And like I said, it's on speed three. That is quiet. Let's use these impact drivers to drive in a, a one and a quarter inch speed bore. And it's cold in here, you guys, so there's no reason to do a temperature reading because these tools will remain cool. Make sure you wear eye protection if you use impact drivers to drill out holes because they will spray everywhere. That took a little while. All right, so next let's do the DeWalt. Let's see how well the DeWalt does. the DeWalt let go of the let go of the bit all right next let's do Makita and yeah, the battery's still full yeah the, even with regular impact drivers this takes a while compared to doing it with a drill driver All right, so the Makita is actually having issues doing that. Yep, I'm going to declare that as a fail for Makita. It just, it's just not powerful enough to continue to do it. But next, let's do Hilti. Let's see if Hilti re releases the bit. Hilti does not release the bit. All right, next let's do skill. Let's see how well skill does. The battery's still full. Skill actually did that pretty fast. I'm impressed with that. Let's see if skill releases the bit. Times. All right, so next let's do the Milwaukee M12 Surge. Battery is full still. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. All right, now let's see what the M12 Stubby does. Time. Oh, the M12 Stubby let loose. But, ooh, that proves a point. That th This is from the Milwaukee M M18. This is model number 2853-20. But yeah, so that collet is an issue on that anvil. So like, like I said in a previous video, Milwaukee, they fixed it, but a lot of people don't have the newer version. They have, still have the older version with this 
issues with the collet. That's why I love 12 volt tools because you seriously get a great amount of power for such a compact tool and using very little energy. So I seriously suggest you guys find some 12 volt tools that you can really get involved with and use them for a DIY or even a contractor for a backup or very small tasks. You know, 12 volt tools are not obsolete by any means and they are actually my favorite voltage of tools just because of how small they usually are and including the battery size. Even the, even the M12 stuff, you know, I think the grip is too thick, but still, it's, a, it's nice to use 12 volt tools. You can only do so much when it comes to testing for 12 volt tools because they really can't, they can't do what their bigger brothers can. They, they just can't. Also, please check out Belts and Boxes. Go give them a, a like and subscribe and watch their videos. Go check out VCG Construction. I give shout outs to all sizes of channels. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.